And he came into all the country about the Jordan, preaching the baptism of penance for the remission of sins. Baptism is a beginning, beginning of our spiritual life, beginning of our life of grace. And so our road to heaven is begun in penance as we have Advent, beginning of the liturgical year, time of penance. We, we mortify our bodies. We try to, to bring our bodies into subjection and subdue our passions to be more spiritual, to be more spiritually alive. Dear faithful, let us give the Spirit of Christ that is in us more than a chance. Let us make provision for it to be in the advantage. Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Smooth the way for the workings of grace. We need to remove those obstacles to grace. And we do this through mortification and through assuming good habits, habits of virtue. And these habits have to last the year long. As we read in the epistle, let a man account us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Christmas is a time for celebration. Christmas is a very beautiful time of year. It's a time for us to renew in us the vigor of the spiritual battle. Time for us to rejuvenate, to remember we have a purpose here on earth, one goal, to save our souls. And everything else involved should be a means to that, not an end in itself. And therefore, Christmas is a time to refocus. What are we doing here? What is the purpose of our life? Why did Christ come into the world? He came to redeem us, yes. But he also gave us an example of how to live our lives, virtues to practice. It's very important that we try to do so this Christmas season. It's very important that we, we try to form habits that are going to last the year long. As I've said before, there is no stillness in the spiritual life. You're always moving forward or backwards. And now we can set sail, as it were. Make ready. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. Open yourself to God's grace. Be prepared for what may come. We do this by forming good habits, habits of grace, habits of virtue. Let us remember, Christmas is the time of celebrating. Why did Christ come? He came to be with you. He seeks your soul. He wants you to be with him in heaven. He desires you more than you can know. He loves your soul so much that he suffers all for it. He gave his life for you. And so we remember that this Christmas season, the point of life, what are we here for? We're here to save our souls. And now it's for us to bring low those mountains, to straighten those paths, to plane the, those crooked and rough ways. It's for us to see the salvation of God is at hand. It's everywhere. It's in our life. Every day we have the grace of God to overcome. So we need to see it. We have the light of the faith. We need to see everything in our lives with the eyes of faith. Understand that it has a divine purpose. Everything that we go through, every trial, every struggle. God did not leave us orphans. He desires our soul so much that he created this whole world for us. And he sends us paper cuts and laundry, spills on the carpet and frozen windshields and all the things that we have to suffer. And he sends us family. He sends it all for our soul for union with it. Union, as long as he sees himself in it, 
God's presence in our life, in our souls. We gain this through the sacraments, through staying close to the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is Christmas, the triumph over evil, union with Christ, workings of grace for the love of God. But it's up to us to decide, ultimately, what do we want? What do we truly seek in Christmas? Maybe some of us think we can wait on our sanctity. We can be saints tomorrow, another day. We have to make the decision now. Every moment of every day counts either for good or for evil. And we decide, we make that choice. What is our intention? What are we doing? Maybe some of us think that we just need someone to help us along. We need a better inspiration. No one is going to do the work for you, and no one can. You have to save your own soul. You have to work through your own salvation. People can help you. People can provide uh, means of grace. But you have to sanctify yourself. You have to make your own decisions. You have to surrender to your daily mortifications. Do penance or you will likewise perish. No one is going to come and save you because God already has. And now it's up to you. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen.